Hello, you're watching NSG News and this is the hot seat. I'm your host, Im. In the light of the Water Resource Minister, Madam Frida Prempress, accusation of the flood victims downstream of the Akosombo Dam in the wake of the VRA dam spillage, we like to look into this matter from country and people point, especially where Mopo Development Association is come out with a press release contrary to what the Water Resource Minister is saying. Water Minister said, yeah, Water Minister, yeah. She is saying, what has happened in Akosombo should not happen in Accra. Anyway, first of all, we want to ask, what does she mean by that? Accra is always flood prone because of lack of planning and management of everything that is managing, planning and building. So at the hot seat, we don't see the comparison here. Most of the time, we will still attribute it to human effect though, but it is the rains coupled with human activities, there's always flooding Accra. But when we come to the those downstream of the Akosombo Dam, this is a supposedly a planned control spillage. But the hot seat, we want to call it a planned but panic spillage. And when we go on, possibly subject to time, we may say why we said so. But let's focus on what Madame Prempre said. Now, she then went on to say, VRA, ANADMO, Educate and Simulation Exercise were conducted. And you mentioned even Mepe. And we are wondering what you mean by even Mepe. But anyway, we will read to you some part of the press release, which we will leave on our website, NSG News website, for you to have a full read of what the Mepe Development Association is saying in contrary to what the minister is saying. They refuse to leave, don't want to be evacuated. The water is contaminated, it's going to cost the government millions of money to fix the problem. Yes, that's the job of the government. Ideally, government should have been on the case of VRA to have a foresight, to plan properly and have mechanisms in place that this level of devastation wouldn't have happened in the first place. So whichever way you put it, whether the people move, did not move, wherever it is that you want them to move to, it is failure on the side of government and the institutions that matters to have a foresight and put mechanisms in place to control this matter because the water was in control. Even though we are saying control spillage, there's no control. And then she said, the people were being talked to were engaged throughout, and even in September, they were still being talked to. But actually, we have here, anyway, before we go, she even mentioned climate change. Climate change or climate manipulation? We'll leave that for another day. And the rains. Of course, there are informations on the VRA website, Facebook, that is in line with the fact that Burkina Faso dams were opened as well. That's fine. But we still bring it down to the fact that there was no structured proper planning in place. But the Hossit will not take over this matter. We will read out what Mepo Development Association have to say. Proud to that. These were the various um, announcement dates of VRA. 6th September, 12th September, 15th September, 20th September, 9th October. Those were the posts of their press releases that were placed on Facebook. And looking at it, only some of them, only a few people forward them. How could we count on that? Why is it that VRA could not promote that press release on Facebook? that it can reach as many people as possible. Also, if VRA and all the emergency services are saying they have planned, they have trained the people, they have simulated. Okay, show us the database of all the towns, Mepa, 
North Town, Kata, and Ronga, all the potential fl flood areas that were identified. Let's see your database of the people and the numbers to these people that you can send a broadcast out to them to say the flood, the, the spillage is happening. Because your comms or your communications suggest that you were communicating to stakeholders. Who are these stakeholders? Let's go into what Mapa Development Association have to say because they are not in agreement with what the Water Resource Minister has said, Madam Frida Prempre. And actually, if it is pointing to the fact that she's not well informed, these are some of the instances where the president have to remove some of these ministers. At the end of the day, we have too many of them anyway, so remove some of them. It seems like she's not well informed. And at this point, the hosting from country and people point, we want to ask, what are the factors considered in appointing these people to office? Because this is not the first time a minister has come out to make some very strange statements, comments that are unacceptable and sometimes very repugnant. This is what Mapo Development Association have to say, signed by their chairperson, Kojo Maulenu Fabian, the chairperson. So let's have a read of what they have to say, straight to the point. For the record, Mapa is the epic center of VRA induced flood disaster, where thousands of people are still reeling from devastation, losses, pain we have endured, and pain we have endured. At this point, Madam Prepper, maybe you are not well informed. These people along this river downstream of the dam, their livelihood has been impacted as a result of a dam that feeds the rest of the country. They have suffered. Some of them have to migrate. This is when the migration began because they have to now, the, the fish, the fishes, the oysters, the things that these people live on were impacted by the dam. So they have to go upstream of the dam. This is how the migration began. But we'll talk about this another time. So these people have suffered all these years and still suffering for the rest of the country to enjoy. And all you can say is come to public and make such statement accusing them for being the victims of negligence, victims of leadership without foresight. Victims of executive team of VRA who did not pre-plan properly and structured plan to execute, to minimize the devastation. Are you standing there saying what? This is the hot seat. So they went on to say, we would like to ask the minister to provide answers to the following questions. Can the minister tell the nation which part or parts of Mopo traditional area the Volta River Authority, VRA, and the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, conducted the so-called simulation exercise before the spillage? Madam Frida Prempe, that is question to you, VRA, and NADMO. Question number two. How many people from Mepe were included in the set simulation exercise? These are questions from Mepe Development Association. Three, how many times was the simulation exercise conducted and how extensive was the community engagement? Mr. President, Nana Kufuado, this is questions to your minister because your minister has come out to seem suggesting that the people refused, the people did not cooperate, the people refused to relocate. Anyway, I saw a comment on Facebook on that suggests that why don't we move the people to the Saglami estate? A very laudable idea because those buildings and properties are laying fallow and Getting damaged. It will, be a, it, will, it will be a good thing to do. Yeah, somebody suggested it on Facebook. I don't want to mention names. But it's a good idea. Let's carry on and read a little bit more 
of what the Mopo Development Association have to say in disagreement to the Water Resource Minister's comments. They went on to say, we wish to make it clear that the Mopo Traditional Council, Mopo Development Association, opinion leaders, and all key stakeholders were not engaged in any simulation exercise or post-simulation exercise as claimed by the minister. So in effect, the minister is lying. You've lied to the people of Ghana. And that is a very good, uh, 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 that is good enough for the president to remove you from office. Mr. President, Nana Kufado, yes, your minister has come out to tell a lie. Remove her from office. How many such, how such an important exercise could escape the eyes and ears of these key stakeholders in the community? Leaves one to wonder whether the monies ex expended on the simulation should not be refunded to the stake coffers. That's what the Manipur Development Association is saying. We'd like to read one more and we would finish off with views from country and people point the host seat. The minister also mentioned that the people of Mopo refused to evacuate before the spillage. Evacuate to where? There were no official temporary shelters, shelter facilities provided by the state for the people in the event of evacuation. It was the leadership of the Mopo Development Association in consultation with the chiefs to that took the initiative to create seven makeshift safe havens for the affected flood victims in the following locations. Mapa RC Primary, RC Junior High School, Mapa Presby Primary, Presby Junior High School, DA Junior High School, Holy Christ, and St. Kizito Secondary Technical School. Out of these seven safe havens, only St. Kizito, which currently houses 1,320 displaced persons, received six mobile toilets just this past Friday, provided by VRA after persistent appeals. Madam Water Minister, this is a different picture to the picture you are painting in the media on behalf of government. The hot seat we still maintain. Nana Akufuado, this woman should be fired. She should be removed from office because she has lied. Because if this is what, of course, if she have a counter information that suggests the Mapo Development Association is also making up these stories, she should send it to us. This is our email. Stories at N-U-T-S-E-G-E -E Ghana G-H Dot com. And we will be more than happy to read it out to our audience because what is we are seeing here from Mapo Development Association, Madam Frida, if you think that the hostage is too tough or too strong on there, or we've taken sides with Mapo, then please send us information that supports your allegation. In the absence of that, this is a clear account of you trying to manipulate and throw dust into the eyes of the people of Ghana. We will leave the press release on our website. Have a read and see what Mapa Development Association is saying with res in response to the accusation leveled against the victims of this spillage exercise that has become a devastation, that has become a disaster. Something we will say, the Hotsi will say, it is a failed, planned, prepared, and executed pro exercise. Government has failed, VRA has failed. Why do we say that? Because we have so many years to plan and have mechanisms in place so that this level of devastation 
damage to livelihood and properties wouldn't have occurred. Notwithstanding, wonderful water. Ghana, from time to time, we, some areas struggle with water shortage. We couldn't have a foresight to create mechanisms where this water will be useful. Some of our viewers have made such comments. There are wonderful Ghanaians with knowledge, ability to help craft this country to perfection. But as it stands, VRA, you have failed. NAGMO, you have failed. Government, you have failed the people. And this is the time for you to help mitigate the situation rather than going around pointing accusing fingers. I'm your host, in the hot seat. Bye for now.